is Harrison before I came to Muslim. After coming to Muslim, I'm called Muhammad, as from Kenya. I came to Bahrain in 2014. So immediately I came to Bahrain. After one month to two months, I had a problem from my body. And since at that time up to now, I've never recognized that sickness. Still, I'm just trying to recall it. But that time, I was at work. Normally, I'm working in Navy base. So it got seriously. Even I came to cry at work. So my manager came to me and asked me if you have a problem with somebody, and I told him no. From there, I called home to explain what I feel. They told me, try to pray anywhere, either you get mosque or church. I was staying in Hura. My place was very close to mosque. Especially my wife called me, I said, just go to mosque and pray. Then I was, I had a doubt in my heart. I said, how will I pray if I don't know? So my mind clicked, just go and do what they are doing in the mosque. I went there for one week. After two weeks, I called again at home. I told her, at least now I'm better. My wife told me, just keep on praying. If you are feeling better, just pray. Because that time I was like, I wanted to go back home. I didn't like to stay here because my heart was running. Even I didn't, I cannot explain the way how I was feeling. It was conscious. Then after two weeks, we shifted from Hura to Gudebia. For a short time, I met my friend. He is called uh, Aziz, Abdul Aziz. He was working with the Islam Awareness. He greeted me, and then he asked, where are you from? I told him I'm from Kenya. Are you Muslim? I told him, no. OK, I will give my card and this number, and then you will call. And I had in my mind, I said, I want to know Islamic religion. Because I had a problem, now I'm feeling better. So I needed to know in deep. I want to learn. He said, just call this number, and you will talk to Madame Nora. That time I called to Mama Nora. He's staying in the in head. I talked to her and the, she gave me an appointment. They bring a car and they went to the Islamic center where I started now learning what is Islam. I stayed there for about three weeks to four weeks. He applied a visa for Umrah. He told me, now we will go to Umrah. So I was very happy. I applied for a visa. I sent everything, and uh, I waited for the time to go for Umrah.
So I was to go for interview at five o'clock. And I switched off my phone, I went to work. That time I went to work, I came back at night. But in my mind, I think there was somebody was calling you. Immediately I came in the room and I opened my phone, I found a missed call. Immediately I called that number and he asked me, are you Harrison? Yes. My brother, you are supposed to go to Umrah tomorrow morning and we tried to call you, we didn't get you. So now your name is cancelled. I felt very bad, <laughs> very, very bad. Even I was shaking at the bed. He said, okay, just hold on on your phone and we shall call you after one minute. Allah was great. Before one minute, that guy called me. He asked me, do you have a transport to go to Muharak tomorrow morning at six o'clock? I said, yes, I have. Okay, tomorrow morning, by six o'clock, we should be at Muharak. I didn't sleep that day. Really, I didn't sleep. By four o'clock, I, uh, I was awake and I went to mosque to pray first and then I came back. By six o'clock, I took a taxi to Muharak. I stayed there up to seven o'clock and then we took a bus to Saudi Arabia. I didn't believe that I'm, I'm going to Saudi Arabia after reaching the border. So we went to pray for 10 days. We stayed in Mecca for, for four days, for six days, and then two days in Medina. At the time we were, we were in Mecca, we had a leader. We were like five people three Filipinos and I was alone as a Kenyan. Then he was like our leader because we don't know that place. So he was showing us how to go there, that place to go pray there. So he told us, try your best and touch that Kaaba at least once. Once you touch the Kaaba, Pray there, whatever you want, and you will find something else different. Then at night, I told my friends, are you going to wake up at very early in the morning? They said, yeah, yeah, if you wake up early, just tell us so that we can go together. At that night, I wake up with the early in the morning, and I tried to wake up these people. They, they, then I left them. I said, me, I'm going. But I, I want to try to touch the Kaaba. And he told me the techniques that I can touch the Kaaba so that I can pray. I went there at that time, the 4 o'clock, 4.30. At the time I reached the Kaaba, I prayed everything. From there, even I, I, <laughs> I was excited even. I felt to, to, to cry. From there, Everything was dissolved from my heart. I feel very happy in this religion. It was the best religion in the world, as what I mean. I found some very big changes. Let me tell you, before I used to walk alone on the road, and I can talk alone, very difficult. I faced a very hard time, but at this time I feel very happy. I have never seen in my life.
this is my first time. Really. I'm feeling very happy. At the time I went for vacation at home before I go, I called my mother. And he knew that I had these problems. My mother was excited and was very happy. He laughed very much. And he told me, she told me, don't leave that religion. Last year, I went for vacation. I went to see my mother and he was very happy. He was very happy since I changed my life. Nobody opposed. Because everybody knows that I had a problem. Most of them, my friends, my families, they knew that I had a problem. Even I, I, I quarreled with my brother. We have never talked for one year. Because I wanted to leave and go back home because of that sickness. I didn't talk with my brother for one year. He was telling me, why are you coming back? Just go and pray. But I found some fruits. I prayed and my sickness dissolved. As from that time up to now, I told you, I have never slept with sickness. It's like now, I got some ideas of the Islamic religion. What is the bad things that we are, should not do and the good things that we are not supposed to do. That's what I'm learning from them. Whoever is not a Muslim, there is no other religion in this world, for sure. And it's true. This is the true religion. Because I took some time to study before I came to Muslim. That's why I came to realize this is the best religion in the world. At first in my, in my country, we had some, let's say, seminars of both religions. And I used to go there at least to get something different from this side and the other side. But the time I came to realize the best religion is Islamic. I will never change. And I invite those people who have never changed. I invite them to come and see. Because my faith, I decide my faith is on Islamic. And I find the fruits that in, invested in this religion. So I invited them to come and witness the way how it is nice, the way how the people are taking you like brother and sisters. 